Welcome, Chris. This area is very nice. Who sits here? So this outdoor seating area is for the students. So that that way they can kind of come over here and you know maybe take a load off their feet or uh, in between passing period have a spot to sit and chat with some friends. I like it. I like it. I can't wait to hear more about the greenhouse. Let's go check it out. This is pretty cool. Entities, generosity. What's it all about? So this is the uh, the sponsor wall. So if there's any entities or um, anybody who's uh, helped provide funding to make this program happen, they would get their name up on that wall over there. Very well deserved. Awesome, I see the potential. Different colored plant, what, what is it? What's so this, going on? Yeah, so this is the grow wall. It's just a simple way to kind of uh, beautify the outdoor area. And the fun thing about it is you can kind of make whatever patterns you want uh, using different colored plants, for example. And so. Very interesting, very interesting. Hold on, I feel like I'm in a classroom. This has opportunity, huh? Yeah. What, what, what do we have? This is, the, uh, this is an outdoor presentation area. So we have picnic tables here. Um, and there's also, like I said, the, uh, the Growing Hope logo right there, which that's, is what- That's really cool. Yeah, and so a teacher would be able to bring their students out and present uh, lessons or plans to their students. Yeah, this looks nice. Vertical growing, what do we have? So this is a tower garden. It's another hydroponic system that we have that, um, that we use here to grow the different types of uh, lettuces or, or herbs that are used for cooking. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, I'm not in love with it right now. I could use some sun, but this probably comes in handy in the summer, huh? Yeah, so uh, the reason that it's shade is, is uh, not, well, one, also during summer, it helps keep us cool. Yeah. But the most important aspect is it uh, provides shade for the plants. So light can still get through, but it's not direct light where it's gonna burn the plants that are growing. Okay, I like it. Classroom B, yep, what do we yep. have? More outdoor seating uh, for um, a teacher that wants to bring their students uh, to do a presentation, for example. Okay, okay. You caught my eye. Yeah. This looks technical. Yeah. So what this, do we have? this is the uh, the pressure washer or the channel washer that's used to clean the channels uh, for the growing system inside of the greenhouse. Nice. Nice. Can we go check the greenhouse yeah, out? Let's check the greenhouse. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh oh. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Tell me more. So, okay, so we're inside the greenhouse. So remember yeah. the channel washer. The channel washer is what cleans these channels right here. Makes sense. Yep. Got it. And so. Um, Got it. Yeah, so we have the greenhouse. Um, I see we have sort of, not babies, but youngsters, full grown adults right here. Yep, that is correct. And so these guys will be ready to harvest. And then that What's thing that? down there um, that you might notice is the, uh, the water reservoir. And so that's where we keep all of our nutrients and the water that's being given to the plants. So again, none of this is uh, soil. This is all just uh, hydroponics. Very clean way to garden, huh? Yes, yes. Nice. Here, I see fans on the wall, fans up. What, are, what is that thing hanging? Yeah, so the fans and, and um, all of the components that you see in here, like that thing hanging, yes. those are the environmental control uh, sensors. So everything in this greenhouse can take care of itself. So if it gets too cold, it can turn the heater on. If it gets too hot, it can turn uh, a cooler on. Yeah. So everything is self-regulated and automated. Very modern. Uh, yeah, so- these, I have no idea. Okay, so these cages and the barrels that you see, so I mentioned nutrients earlier. These, uh, these barrels, it's a part A and a part B. That's the nutrient solution that goes into the water. And it's, that's actually what the plants need to grow. Those are the vitamins and minerals that they need Ooh. so that they can grow. Nice, nice. Very specific diet, huh? Yes. Way, way, tiny babies. The nursery, huh? Yeah, what, so what? This, is the, uh, this is what we call propagation two. And so no. this is where we seed the, uh, the lettuces and okay. then we place them in here until they sprout. And then from there, we can transfer them to the following stages necessary for them to uh, get to about six weeks old to harvest. Nice, be a little more mature, huh? Yeah. Nice. And then this guy right here, this is the wet wall. So I mentioned uh, environmental controls. Yeah. This is like a, basically a giant swamp cooler. And so this is gonna cool the greenhouse if it, for example, gets too hot. Nice. And look at that view. How many, how many plants can we actually grow in here at one time? So in total, in total we can grow about 8,000 plants at one single time. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Thanks, Chris. I see a, this is looking good. I see the potential. What do we have? Yeah, so more, again, these are more uh, tower gardens. Tower gardens, yep, yeah. Um, and uh, again, just another hydroponic, a vertical way to grow hydroponically. That looks great, nice. Cleaning up area, huh? Yep, we have a prep station or a cleaning area, prep station to take 
uh, to clean some of the tools that the students might be using to take care of the plants or the harvesting shears, those need to be cleaned. Yeah, nice. I see this down the road. What are these? Yeah, so these are, um, these are garden beds. Um, so uh, we'll fill them up with soil. And then once they're filled up with soil, we're gonna plant uh, beans, um, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, vining types of uh, plants. So that way as they grow, they're gonna fill up this fence uh, kind of lattice up the fence and take over and, and beautify the area. Nice, nice. The monster fridge. Yep, so this is an Ooh. industrial refrigerator. This is where we store the produce. So whenever we nice. harvest, we put the, uh, we'll store the lettuces in here for maybe a day or a few hours just so that they're fresh I like uh, it. for when we do deliveries. It can hold a lot of lettuce. Yes, yes it can. And then, you know, of course, when it comes to the refrigerator, it has to be a certain temperature, right? Right. So generally, we, we want to keep things at about uh, uh, 38 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. And that will uh, ensure that the, uh, the lettuce stays as fresh as uh, possible uh, for delivery. So whenever we give it out to restaurants, or I like that. for example. I like that technical aspect. Some of my students have food handler certificates already. Some are going to get it. They talk about that. Yeah. Commercial refrigerator, personal refrigerator. 41 degrees at least, huh? Yep, that is exactly That's it. That's great stuff. Hey, Chris, I appreciate the grand tour. That was awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, pleasure. My pleasure. Until next time, Chris. Thank you. All right, Sean. Thank you.